Richard von Gosovius, thank you so much for joining us at Super Return International. Your panel discussion started with holding these guys accountable for figures they predicted last year. They looked a bit fearful, but they mainly got it about right. What did you think about that? Yes, they, yes, they did indeed this year, and they did much better than last year. Last year, when we revealed the first projections they made two years ago, they were quite off the mark, uh, particularly when it came to, to investment activities. So they were actually not quite as bullish uh, as the market turned out to be, or actually were more bullish than the market turned out to be. This year, you know, when sort of on average, we got actually spot on. So, and then we not only projected the numbers for investments made in Germany, we also projected the number of exits being made, so liquidity provided by the market and the fundraising activities. And in all three, we got a pretty much spot on. In the fundraising, we were slightly more optimistic, but that's in Germany a general problem, that fundraising is a bit of a supply side problem. There are not enough funds raising money to, to satisfy the demand. Are you surprised they were so accurate, or, or is that their job after all? <laughs> well, yeah, you hope that we have, <laughs> you know, we have a good uh, panel that's been uh, uh, picked. And, you know, individuals sort of not necessarily got it always right. But you know, these guys know their pipelines. They, they think a year ahead. So, so you would expect them to sort of, in the absence of some big black swan event, to sort of have some uh, sense for what's coming. Talking about what's coming, what were the predictions for the coming year and what do you expect to see in the next 12 months? We thought as a panel that, that things are pretty much carrying on on the high level. So German private equity, we thought, all was in root health. You know, we will see uh, a, a sort of investment levels remain on the current high levels. I think the prediction was 7 billion equity invested in, in pure German deals. Um, and moreover, more liquidity coming out of portfolios, so GPs will be exiting. We saw an increase of 15 to 20% on that. And the panel was optimistic on fundraising. What do you think are the hot topics going forward? And, and are there any interesting, quirky things you expect to see happening? Uh, no, look, I think the hot topics in German private equity, I think, are well understood. It is you know, always considered and deemed to be this big sleeping giant that keeps sleeping. <laughs> um, and I think it is a fundamental, fundamental lack of understanding of the German equity culture, which is different from the Anglo-Saxon ones. And anyone who uses uh, UK or Anglo-Saxon stats of private equity penetration to extrapolate a trend in Germany will be disappointed. One theme that does recur talking about things that are specific to Germany is the middle stand, the investment in these middle, mid-sized family-owned yeah. companies. That's a theme that recurs. What do you think about that going I, forward? A conference wouldn't be complete without <laughs> talking about the middle stand. Um, and I think ultimately it goes back to the equity culture of of, of these families who own these companies. Yeah. German entrepreneurs tend to build businesses for generations to come, not for their own benefit. And I think that's a fundamental difference. And when I speak to private equity houses, the participants, the GPs, the, where they're most successful is actually where they buy from a founder, whereas the, the second or third generation feels too much of ob an obligation to keep it going. And if you think about it, these guys sit in local rural German towns typically the king of the town, their yeah. local personality, and it gives them a status that money can't buy. It's very sustainable in that sense and very steady as well, isn't it? It sort of flies against any risk. So I think that was one of the comments made on the panels today is it's actually the strength of the German middle stand as well to not have this sort of short-termism of selling your company within 10 years. I mean, in a German family's perspective, 10 years is short-term. Yeah, um, it's not so reactive, if you like. Correct, yeah. Why do you like this conference and what do you think it offers particularly? I think, yeah, I think of the whole conference, the German Day is my particularly favourite day. It's, it's slightly small, everybody is still relaxed. Um, you can meet people. Um, so it's, it's a wonderful platform for, for catching up with, with old friends, acquaintances. If you've been doing this for a few years, like I have, um, you walk down the room and you meet old friends. Um, and many people have become friends. Um, it's extremely well organised. Um, and, and the panels are, are, are drawn into a logical and well, sort of well-adjusted pattern. Do you think people do realistically and genuinely go away with a unique insight get to take them forward for the next 12 months from this as well? I'd, ho I'd hope so. I think people mostly go away with having, having new industry insights, having caught up on the latest news, uh, having in one-to-one -one conversations gained insights which will not be in the press. I think that's what most people will come from. But I always hope that, you know, I always pick up one or two ideas 
that I didn't think of, of beforehand. Yeah, it's not earth-shattering, but, but it is a little bit that you think, oh yeah, it's a different perspective from what the, the one that I had. Richard, thank you so much for joining You're welcome. us. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.